Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Kucher with the Sunlight Financial Chair in Adolescent Mental Health. Today I'm going to talk very briefly about uh, bereavement and what happens with bereavement and suicide. And suicide is a tragic event. It's tragic for any family, it's tragic for loved ones, it's tragic for communities. And it's often particularly tragic in young people who have their whole life out in front of them. Now, one of the things that happens is that in a family or with a friend in whom a child or person who you care very deeply about, about has died by suicide, what do you do? What do you do next? You know, I've had a number of talks with parents whose children died by suicide and what they recount is they're doing something, maybe they're at home relaxing, gardening, eating dinner, and a knock comes to the door and it's a police officer and that's when they get the news. And that's, that's a horrible, horrible situation to be in. So what do you do next? I mean, it's a shock. Who do you turn to? What, what can you do? Well, obviously you turn to friends and family, that's the first step. You turn to each other if you're a couple or a family. But then what? And I have to really thank an outstanding individual named Carol Cashin, who lives in Halifax, Nova Scotia, whose son died by suicide. And, and Carol, as part of dealing with that tragic loss, was instrumental, number one, in putting up barriers on bridge in Halifax that had high rates of suicide from that bridge and that's something that we know actually works decreasing access to lethal means. But not only that, in thinking about the circumstances of her loss, she said, boy I wish that we had a resource, something that would help us at that time. And, and so she worked with our team here and we created a very, very simple pamphlet. Very, very simple. It's available, obviously, for free on our website, teenmentalhealth.org. And it looks like this. It's about what to do if you've lost someone to suicide. And so that pamphlet has been used by the police forces, by the coroner's office. And the feedback that we've got is that in this time of horrific tragedy, people find that information helpful just a little bit. You know, there's so much that we need to do to try to prevent suicide. It's really, really essential and it's important that we get that right. But as we're working towards that, we will lose people who are dear to us by suicide. So at least, the least that we can do is to try to help them with the aftermath. This isn't going to take the pain away. This isn't going to make life all that easier. This will just help on that first step of that incredibly long and difficult journey. So as I said, it's available. Use it if you'd like. And thank you, Carol, for leading this. I'm Stan Kutcher at the Sunlight Financial Charity. Thanks for listening.